Hey Movavi users, I'm Art, back with some more of my Movavi tips. In the current video series I'm making, I needed to have a few actors and a couple of different angles for the scenes I wanted to film. But during the day, it's just me home by myself. So what can you do? Well, what if I was all the actors and I did all the filming? Now it took a little bit of planning and a little bit of creative editing with Movavi, but here's how it came out. And just like we have to keep exercising our bodies to keep them healthy, we've got to keep exercising our brain to keep it healthy as well. And it could be something as simple as doing a crossword. Eight letter word, it's the answer to life, the universe, and everything. 42. Using my cell phone and a tripod and a selfie stick and some creative editing with Movavi, you too can create this effect. So let's look at how. First and most important, you really have to plan your shots. I staged different clothes for costume changes, did walkthroughs, and did some test recordings to make sure everything looked good before actually filming the scene. Also, you want to use features that will help mask the screen splits. In this scene, I use the shelving units in the background. Using grid lines on your camera or phone to help you get everything lined up is helpful as well. Most phones or cameras have a lot of automatic features that make adjustments while you're recording. I try to turn all these off and record in a setting where the background lighting is pretty stable. Nighttime or overcast days work well for this. When you split your video, you want all the segments to be the same from a focus and lighting perspective. Oh, and no moving things that cross the screen split. I learned this the hard way. Okay, so let's start with the easy one, side-by-side -side split screen. I'm going to record my scene with me walking in on the left side and me sitting down on the right side. I'd done some test shots and determined the best place to put the camera. Now I film the scene left side and right side. And you can make it one continuous recording, which gives you the best chance of everything being the same in the scene, but I'm going to show you doing them separately so I can show you how to make adjustments if necessary. If you're going to talk to yourself, that is where the script and planning and practice runs help out so you get the timing right. Once I have my recordings, I put one on the main video track and one on another video track. Then go into the tools menu and select position and scroll down to the split screen options. Make one video side by side left and inside the frame in the preview, drag it so that the left side of your video aligns with the left side of the preview window. This will be moving it all the way to the right. Do the same thing for the other side, except this time use side-by-side -side right. Now you can make adjustments to get the scene to have the two characters interact. I do some additional trimming to the videos and some fine adjustments so the scenes line up the way that I want. This also works for getting the talking back and forth to line up. Now, if it isn't quite perfect, you can go ahead and make some manual adjustments in the tools menu by selecting color adjustments in manual mode. Usually, you'll be adjusting the brightness and contrast to try and fix the scenes so they match. For fine adjustments, you can type the value into the little window, or you can highlight the little circle in the slider bar and then use your arrow keys to make adjustments. So that one-click adjustment of the brightness got us a much better match between the two scenes. If you record when the light's constant, you don't have to worry about this. You can also use the trio function. It gives you three screens to work with, which is a little bit more complicated, takes a little bit more planning, but here's what that would look like. So there you have it. Just one person with a camera, a selfie stick, a tripod, and some creative video editing, and you can make some pretty amazing scenes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these, and we'll see you next time.